Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardwell's Cauldrons here on Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today we have a fun little, cute little Golgari deck that it's kind of an old past idea, but now with a new creature that I'm excited to play with, uh, we'll go ahead and test it out. But first, of course, to go ahead and let you know that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you even more than we already do. Now, let's get into it. This deck name is called This Is My Swamp, <laughs> and it has to do with Dread Presence. Dude, it's a, so silly. It's an awesome nightmare. He's a three and a black, three, three. Whenever a swamp enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. You draw a card and you lose one life. That's pretty good. Or deals two damage to any target and gain two life. Now, the name escapes me of what the modern deck is, but it has to deal with scape shift and mountains. Valakut. Uh, Valakut, yeah. Valakut's scape shift. And guess what? Scape shift is in the standard. Hey! So Yay! we just made Valakut scape shift, but in standard. Yeah, so it's super Hurrah! good. Could, could you and let us know what scape shift is? Alright, so Scape Shift is that good sorcery, two green and two. Sacrifice any number of lands, search your deck for any number of that many lands and put them into the battlefield tap. Yep. It doesn't care if it's basic, doesn't care if anything, you just, whatever lands you want to go ahead and do it. So maybe turn five, you play this and then just go, da -da 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 -da, take ten, I gain ten. If you wanted to. And if you have the ability to have as many lands as you can, you just, you just need 10 lands and you get to kill them in one turn. Yeah, exactly. And there's a lot of few things that will get us there for sure. Now this guy, one of the also newer cards, is Elvish Reclaimer. It's one green, one two, Elf Warrior. Gets plus two, plus two as long as there's three more land cards in the graveyard, which will probably definitely happen. But you can pay two, sacrifice a land, search your library for a land card, put it into the battlefield, tap, and then shuffle your library. This also triggers him, because it says any land. So you can go get an overgrown tomb or a awesome. or you can fix your mana if you have two green lands and this guy and then you just immediately go get a dual land that's yeah that's awesome he, i didn't realize that he i think he's a sleeper hit he's just really slow right now yeah so but i want to see how he works out and he's like a blurred mongoose and i think it's annoying after like five turns yeah and maybe he's not as good as a knight of reliquary yeah, but it's, it, it's, it's there. what it is. It's there. Yeah. All right, but to help you get lands, is Jade Light Ranger, two green and one for two one Merfolk Scout. She's still good. Yep. Comes into play. Explore, explore. That's all. I mean, it's still good. You can get free lands or get counters to have a four three beater. And it, it all works out. Yeah. Now, weirdly enough, something that this is kind of a slightly all star deck of what I wanted to play in standard, pretty much. And the new guy is Rotting Registrar. He's two in a black, seven, six zombie dinosaur. At the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. So one, you don't lose value immediately at the end of the step when you play him. And so, because if they want to kill him on their turn or end of your turn, you don't lose anything but a seven, six for three, which is not too bad. And there's different ways for us to mess with our graveyard. So we'll let you know on that. Now the next dinosaur, of course, is old Wayward Swordtooth. He's yeah. back. Yeah. We're bringing him back. Three drop, five, five with Ascend. So if you have 10 or more permanents, he gets his blessing. And then you may play an additional land on each of your turns. And then he can't attack a block unless you have the city's blessing. Yeah. So able to get him on turn three and then just plop plop lands or turn four dread presence with this guy. And you're like plop plop, take two or take four again, four, or draw two cards or whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, this dude does some crazy stuff. He he looks very crappy at the beginning. He's very stubborn, but yeah, he's good. He's good when he starts playing. Mm -hmm. Of course, the big old dude is Multani. Uh, four and two green. He has Reach Trample. He's a zero to zero, but he gets plus one, plus one for each land you control and each land card in your graveyard. So therefore ditching it, or you can double his power with Scape Shift as well and swing. He has another ability, just in case. One in the green, return two lands you control to their owner's hand, return Multani from the graveyard to your hand. So you can ditch him with Registrar at the beginning, and then later on, if you can get there, bring him back. Which, you can pull up two swamps if you want, and then redo it with a Dread Presence, and it's just cute that way. It's so silly. It's synergy is what it's hey. called. Hey! Next up is Assassin's Trophy. Mm. Okay, that's still a good card. Yep. I mean, black and green, kill target permanent, and opponent controls. It's controller may search the library for basic land and put it into the battlefield. With a lot of the three-color uh, three decks, it's, they barely have basic lands nowadays. And plus, 
I like to make these jinky decks with no kill in them. So I was like, I might as well throw some kill in it. No. No, yeah, no. I, I want my combo to go off. I don't care about your side of the field. And to also help, which is in standard that no one cared for, is Crucible Worlds. It's a three drop artifact. You may play land cards from your graveyard. So escape shift, throw him, rotting registrar, play him again with wayward sword tooth, and it's just like, da -da 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 -da. take a bunch of damage. Just all the lands, all the time, all the all the dread presences. Next up is Grow from the Ashes, a green and two for a kicker two, or it's got kicker two. You can pay an additional two to cast this spell. Search your library for a basic land card, put it in the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. If it was kicked, search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them on the battlefield yeah. instead. So it could be pay five, deal four, gain four, or whatever. It's just a really good land grabber card. Yeah, it gets you your basics so you can draw cards if you want to, yeah. like the Dread Presence or shoot for four. Now this is literally the weakest card of the deck, so you can replace it with kill or whatever, because most of your other stuff, you're just there. Yeah. But to also help you get land, it's a new card. It's kind of janky, but it's good. <laughs> so it's called Death Sprout. It's one, two black and green. Instant. Destroy target creature, search your library for a basic land card, put it in the battlefield, tap it, and then shuffle your library. So, it helps you do more extra damage with the swamp. Because it, it, it's called Synergy, and it works with the deck, hence why the crappy kill card is in here. I like it. Yeah. And then the next up is the Mending of Dominaria. It is a saga. We haven't seen them in a minute. Yeah. Uh, two green and three for an enchantment saga. The first two are put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Yep. And then minus three, or the third saga, return all land cards from your graveyard to your battlefield, then shuffle your graveyard into your library. Yeah, so if they kill Dread Presence, because they probably will as soon as possible, then you put it back. Turn five, put it back in your hand. Turn six, you play it. And turn seven, if you're able to do it, then you, all your swamps and everything just comes back in and does a bunch of damage. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. So, yes, I am writing a bunch on this guy, but that's why I made the deck because it's silly fun, and to, hopefully to be able to combo out and kill him by turn five, six, or something that would be amazing. I like that. Now, of course, we have 24 lands in the deck. We actually have 12 dual colors, so we have four overgrown tombs, which counts as a swamp, so it does it triggers him. Uh, four woodland cemeteries, which is the basic, and of course the new lands, Temple of My Lady. Or Melody. Uh, it's the tap Skyland, so it comes in play tap, Scry 1, done. That's all it does. But it's a black and green, and it also triggers off Elvish Reclaimer. Like I said, if you have two green, tap them, sack this, go get a temple, now you know your next draw, kind of thing. Or even with uh, Escape Shift as well. You know, a lot of weird synergies, hopefully it all like comes together like a cog machine. Mm -hmm. And the rest is like, you have 10 swamps. Because that's what you want to escape shift for anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then two fours. Yeah, you want all the swamps. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, here we only have honorable mentions, not really a sideboard, because right now we're super fresh in the meta. Oh, yeah. And on the time of recording, we only saw the recent one, which is mono red versus mono blue. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, -o. hey, classic red versus blue, right? So, honorable mentions that I have right now, number one is Disfigure. This card is just super good against aggro. It's one black instant target creature can spice two minus two in the turn. Danto Vanguard, get out of here. It's everything. Everything. Every everything. aggro card. Get just, out of my life. You're dead. No indestructible, no nothing. Yeah. Get out of here. So good. And then next up is Landline of the Void. Because, I mean, the ley lines are back and they're just as strong as they were. Yep. So two black and two, and it's an enchantment. If a card would be put into a grave, an opponent's graver from anywhere, exile it instead. But really, if you start in your opening hand, they start in play. Yep, you just plop them down. So that happens before, like, you choose who goes first, you get your opening hands, and then when both players say yeah, they're okay, then they get into play. Yep, exactly. Both yours and your opponents at the same time. So it's just really good, and of course they play this against you, you're kind of sad, but that's okay. Now there's one I'm just going to add to the list right now, is Pulsa Marasa. Can't believe I forgot that card. That card is amazing, <laughs> yeah. it's one of our favorites. It's two and a green, instant. Uh, you gain six life, and you get to pick a land or a creature from the graveyard and put it in your hand. Yeah, that, that's card is so strong. Instant speed, I go get whatever you just killed, I gain a bunch of life, and I don't care. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, super good. So again, uh, that is this deck name is called This Is My Swamp. 
and the deck list will be down below. Hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully it's super fun, I can't wait to play it in one of our brawls to see how synergistic it is. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here on Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later! Also guys, I just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.